what is going on guys let's try this current shunt box out on the vehicle so I have it connected up with these two custom leads I made for the battery terminal on the negative side so here's the clamp and that goes in here and then on the other end we just used the battery cable and clamped it to this post right that goes to the other side here. So we're able to send the vehicle current now through here and monitor the voltage drop. And I have the scope set up here and it's currently monitoring the voltage on the vehicle and the breakout box, which uses about 30 milliamps because I plug the memory saver in first before I did this hookup. So right now I have the battery connected and also my memory saver, which is just a breakout box powered off a M12 battery and it's connected to the DLC. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Okay. And so this is disconnected. And let's see now with the vehicle just on the single battery here, what we get. So you see that little drop right there? That was from just disconnecting the uh, that box. So let's go ahead and create a parasitic draw. What I'm gonna do is just open up the driver's side door. It's gonna turn on two dome lights. Let's see what we get here. So here's the two dome lights. There's one there, one there. I'll just leave the door open and let's see what happened. Hey, look, so right here, we had that jump, and you see I already kind of pre-placed a cursor there to where that level is, right, what it went up to, and you can see the difference from the zero point, right, to the, where we are now is 3.6 volts, which we'll just read as 3.6 amps, and we're going to cut that in half, so we're going to get 1.8 amps. Now, I'll show you, if I close the door, that'll go away. We gotta wait a couple of seconds, about 20 seconds, but let's do that. So I'm just gonna close this, and it's gonna be about 20 seconds before these lights turn off. So let's go ahead and watch that happen on the uh, scope here. And we'll see, it should kick in. Okay. There it goes, right there, it just turned off. See that? Right there. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to show that to you guys. Thanks so much for checking it out. Really appreciate you taking the time and watching. And next up, we're going to hook this same unit here up to the PicoScope, and we're gonna use a logging software, PicoLog, to capture our current and save it either locally or to the cloud and then we could share it and access it remotely thanks so much for watching you guys have a great day